hi this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment and today is my last sketchbook tour of 2022 and this is my second year in the row doing Decembered. Um, if you are interested in December drawing challenges this is a nice one if you're not interested in doing um, sort of a Christmas holiday themed things. Um, I just really like birds and animals so I have opted for this twice in a row. Um, the supplies I used for this book, so the front cover is a white Posca pen <clears throat> and the bulk of the birds are drawn in a pilot. This is the G7 in turquoise. And then I toggled between different metallics. So it's the Uniball Signo gold, the Uniball Signo silver, and the Sarasa in copper but because I am rounding out a year of not buying art supplies, I ran out of this gold and then switched to a pilot gold and then ran out of that gold and ended up finishing it with Posca gold. So that's kind of what no buy looks like while you're creating. And then the background, I used the Derwent XL graphite sticks. Now these are great for grading on large surfaces, but as you can see, this is an A6 size. And so what I did was I took one of my brushes that's absolutely falling apart. I mean, the ferrule just pops right off. And I sort of scrape the pigment and I am able to load up the brush and then I can dry brush this onto the page, which is really, really nice for creating small things. Also, here is the list. I made myself a list. It ended up being 90 birds long. And then from there, I checked off which ones I was in the mood to do. So within this challenge, I gave myself freedom to explore different birds. Some I've done before, some are my favorites, and some I've never done before. So <clears throat> let's get started. And here is the inside. I'm gonna try and remember all the names of all these birds, but if I don't, just be patient with me. It's been a long month. This is a flycatcher. Um, I started off in a unusual style and I eventually dropped it very quickly. You will see that. This is a blue jay. Here's a tern. This is a hawk. This is a finch. Here is a duck. Here is a wren, and all these were sprayed with some spray fixative. Um, some of them need to be resprayed because I went so heavy with the graphite. This is a vulture, pigeon, and you can kind of see the metallic a little bit, plover. I was creating rain. Ibis. I love this bird a lot. This is a goldfinch. And again, when you do things monochromatically, you kind of lose um, some of the things that make the animals amazing, and that's their color. This is a puffin. This is a godwit. I chose this challenge because it's a dry medium. I'm very comfortable in pen and ink. So I didn't pre-sketch any of these. Um, this is a titmouse. I hope YouTube doesn't get mad over that name. I did not choose it. This is an owl. Here is a quail. This is a goose. And there are more than 30 pages in this sketchbook. A cormorant. So what I did was for the first couple weeks of December, I did two a day and then I went down to one a day. This is a pelican. This is a thrush, which December is kind of a busy month for us. So this, this was a good challenge to pick. Eagle. Here is a magpie. I thought about drawing our cat because that's her name um, but in the end I just went with the bird. Here is an auklet. Heron. 
turnstone. Galanil. Is it teal? Here's a peewee. <laughs> Some of these birds are so cute. <laughs> I can't. Albatross. I love this bird too. They mate for life. Flamingo. I think a lot of people recognize this bird. A warbler. This is like bird watching for illustrators. <laughs> um, a shrike. This is a bittern. This is a peacock, so its feathers aren't out. <laughs> so I kind of went with the feather design in the background to reinforce the idea of what this bird is. This is a blue-footed booby, and I figured, you know, <laughs> the whole thing's blue. There's also a red-footed and I believe a yellow-footed. Here's a meadowlark. Here is a hummingbird. This one's pretty recognizable. There's a dowager. A dodo. I went with one extinct. I had to throw him in. I absolutely love this bird. I just He's such a joy to look at and draw and illustrate. Um, here's another J. I didn't care for the one on the first page. So I redid it. Creative licensing. Um, here's a sandpiper. I love this bird. A red start. Here is a turtle dove. So I know we're getting close to Christmas. So I think this one was on Christmas Eve. Here is a crow. I think this one was on Christmas Day. Uh, here's a partridge. Here's a loon. Here's a falcon. A woodpecker. And a nuthatch. And here is the logo from uh, Lecterm 1917 from the company. So I just kind of highlighted that since I decided to draw on the last page. Here is the pocket. So. I don't know where the original label went. I think I lost it, but so this is how I filled this A6 for the month. This was a ton of fun. This one is sort of faux wood grain with pen and ink. Um, some of these I liked way more than others. Some of these birds I've never drawn before. So I've never drawn like so many different types of ducks. Um, things I didn't draw a lot of would be some of the no flying birds, like an ostrich, a rhea, uh, kiwi, penguins. I kind of left some of those alone and just went for more traditional bird watching birds, save for the dodo because I just, I love him. <laughs> I can't explain it. I love him. Anyway, I just hope you enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun to put together. Um, it's really quick. I feel the most confident in pen and ink. It's probably the medium where I am the quickest. So because December's so busy, I opted for this instead of watercolor like I did last year. And I'm happy with the results. It was just a lot of fun. And I toggled between the gold, the silver, and then some of these are copper. And you can see the sheen. So in person with the metallics shining, these are really pretty. Um, I just, I kind of leaned into metallics this year. I just want to thank you so much for spending time with me, for hanging out with me, for drawing with me. There's a lot of draw with me's of these birds. Uh, if you wanna see me start the process in sort of a eight to 10 minute video. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.